Hello everybody, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you my customer thank you, thank you cards for uh, orders that were done in July. That will be done in July, sorry, because it's the 1st of July today. And um, for those that were done just last week. So these will be my thank you cards for this month. So I'm using the beautiful Friendship Stamp Set. And I'm going to use the Hydrangea part with this leaf over here. And I'm going to use the Well Written Framelits dice. And I'm going to use the Thanks um, die. So we'll get started on this. I'm going to show you how to make two cards exactly the same <laughs> um, nice and easy so I've got some scrap piece of Highland Heather then I have two pieces of thick whisper white cardstock which are four inches by eight and scored at four so I've got both of them there I forgot to bring my bone folder so just bear with me for a second and I'm just going to bring that out now so I've got my bone folder I'm just going to sit down and I'm going to uh, burnish the score line Always forget something. It's so bad. <laughs> and I'll burnish that score line as well. And then I've also got two pieces of uh, just regular Whisper White cardstock that are three and three quarters by three and three quarters. Um, square. So I'm going to grab my Stamparatus because today I'm going to be using my sponge daubers and I love using the sponge daubers because I can get lovely colours <laughs> and mix them together. So I'm going to be mixing together Balmy Blue and Highland Heather. So I'm just going to grab my Hydrangea part And I'm going to pop that up here. And I'm going to do two at the same time. So just turn this over for a second. Okay. And I've got that in the corner. Just get that on there. So I'm going to grab my Highland Heather ink. I'm going to ink it up straight. It's a very inky ink pad, but got my Highland Heather sponge dauber here and I'm just going to just take off the bulk of the ink so it's not so splotchy so I'll just pick that up with the sponge dauber just get rid of the bubbles and the splotchiness of it okay see how that works out okay so that turned out okay see that it's beautiful because this is a distinctive stamp I think by the sounds by the looks of it maybe it isn't I don't know but it gives you that watercolor effect and you can get nice gradients of color so again I'm going to ink up with Highland Heather so this is one way of getting two, which is why I love using the Stamparatus um, because you can do, you know, multiple cards all at the same time. So I'm just, or any other stamp positioning tool you may have, doesn't really matter. So I'll just ink that up. Okay, get rid of the splotchiness. So it picks it up with the sponge dauber. And then this can be used, you know, for another project too, so it doesn't go to waste. So, okay, and again that didn't pick it up there, so I'll give it an extra push, and that's all now inked up. So that's it with the Highland Heather, but I am keeping the stamp in the Stamparatus, and I'm going to get now my Balmy Blue. And I'm just going to splotch it here, there, like that. And actually, I'll ink it up straight. I'll get my balmy blue 
um, sponge dauber and I'll just splotch off the bulk of that. And I might give it a bit more balmy blue. And I'll ink it up again. Okay, so you can see it's got like both the blue and the purple in there. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. Balmy blue, splotch off any extra ink and I think I'll go full strength on this one I think the other one was a bit blurred so that turned out pretty cool you can see the blue and the purple together I'm going to turn this over I'm going to ink that up in the balmy blue because I don't like the, I think this turned out blurred. Yeah, so I'll just turn it over nice and easy. Oops. Okay, so that's the balmy blue. And with that ink splotch, we're going to add a green over the top so we should be okay it's a mistake but we will make it work <laughs> all right now I'm just going to grab my sponge door above the Highland Heather one just give this a bit of a wipe and we will ink this up pick up the extra splotch okay now we'll just go over the top of that And that turned out beautiful I like that one so I'm going to keep this one in here because I want to fix up the mistake so I will wipe over the hydrangea because I'm finished with that take that away because it makes a lot of noise when I move the table okay so that's done so I'll take off the stamp carefully and I'll bring over my leaf and we'll try and go over the top of that so it doesn't look yeah like that all right so I'm going to get now my granny apple green And I will get my sponge dauber for the granny apple green. So I've got mine organized in a, um, like a craft organizer. So this is the granny apple green, yep. And I've got each of the sponge daubers um, dedicated to one color. And they're pretty inexpensive, so I didn't mind shelling out for that. Let's give that a bit of a sponge. Make sure, and then bam. And you can't tell that I had that mess. So I'll grab the other one. Pick that up. Dab off the excess. Wipe. So that's that one. And then I'm going to add another uh, another one, I think, up around here. Just add a bit more green. I think that looks perfect up there like that. Mm -hmm. 
So I'll ink it up again, splotch off the excess, and it gives a nicer detail to the image because my ink pads are really juicy. So I'll do that. That turned out beautiful like that. And this one the same. So that's how you get two done at the same time. Brilliant. I'm going to get rid of that because I won't need that anymore. Take off the excess image with my sponge door bar. And then stamp that. And that is now done. So I've got two hydrangea cards done. So I love having the stamp writers or a stamp positioning tool. It really helps to ensure that you can do multiples really easily. So I'll take that off. And we are done with stamp writers. And what we're going to do next is we're going to cut out the um, word thanks from the well written dies. I'm going to cut that out twice and I'm going to bring up my die cutting machine. thanks dies are now cut so what I'll do is I'll put this card together I'll give this a little extra burnish make sure that they sit nicely I'll put my die away because I will forget it and lose it all right so I'll grab some of my glue I'm just don't need a lot And I'll just um, square it on nicely. Oops. I love having wiggle room with this. And then we're going to put the thanks down there. Okay, that's really pretty. So I'll just um, keep it very simple, but I think effective. And you can mass produce these quite easily. So I'll put the thanks down here. I send out a lot of thank you cards. My favourite part and birthday cards. I think they're the two most made cards for me. Birthdays, thanks. And then I get orders here and there from people who want, you know, Father's Day cards and Mother's Day cards and birthday invitations and things. So they're fun to make too. All right, so I'm going to now glue this part down. Okay. Okay, so that's all done and then I'm going to glue down the th thanks die. I highly recommend this, um, this gorgeous little stamp set. You can layer on colours really nicely if you want to using your Stamparatus or you can do it, you know, colour on with a marker but I think using a sponge dauber is better. You can get more detail that way. And here we go, I'm going to put the thanks like that. Okay, so I finished two cards within 16 minutes. Sorry, my camera kind of angled silly after 
knocking it around a little bit but here are my two completed cards what do you think nice quick and easy and simple but yet beautiful at the same time and I use the gorgeous beautiful friendship stamp set just beautiful I mean I just love this card so much and this stamp set and um, I use the well-written framelits dies. These are fantastic. Oh, I highly recommend them and they're a great size. And this is a 4x4 four four card. So they're a really good size die. Um, and you can use this for multiple occasions. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions or you would like to purchase any of these um, items from me today, you may do so through my online store at pepperlyrose.stampinup.net um, I can sell to anywhere in Australia but not overseas so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any questions just leave a comment below if you uh, would like to contact me directly um, you may do so through my online store and just use the contact me section and you can then you'll be emailing me directly after that if you wish to contact me privately that's fine um, and also I want to thank everyone that subscribes to my channel I really appreciate your support and for everyone viewing my channel as well thank you all so much for watching and um, don't to hit don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so thanks again for watching everyone have a wonderful day and happy crafting bye